Okay, so in this video, we're going to be discussing uh, the overhead press, push press, shoulder press, whatever you want to term it, anything that involves us pushing a load above our head. So when we're breaking this down, we'll start from the base up. So we want a stable position on the ground, at our feet, about hip width apart. Um, coming up from there, we want a neutral pelvic position. Okay, so if we're looking from side on, we don't want to have anterior pelvic tilt or excessive posterior pelvic tilt. We may need to activate the glutes to turn them on slightly to get that pelvis aligning. Okay, so that's a strong pelvic position, neutral spine, neutral pelvic position avoiding any anterior or posterior tilt. Once we've got that um, and we're in our stable position, we're going to make sure that we maintain a strong and stable core. This is because the spine is going to be under a lot of stress and we need that protected throughout the movement. So do this, I mean, you don't have to perform the dry cycle movement throughout the exercise, but if you're moving excessive load above the head, I would advise that, so you know, big breath into the core, breathe, brace, and then perform the movement. Um, but we need a stable core, obviously we want to protect the spine. Um, we don't want to be, you know, moving the spine in the movement. That core needs to be stable and still. Um, when we're in our position to start, we need to make sure we have good mobility of the lats and the serratus anterior muscle. So you'll notice is when, if you've got a barbell and you're in the front rack position, to create a shelf, so to speak, to push the elbows under, that's the mobility of both the lats and the serratus anterior muscle. So we need good mobility there to get into that front rack position to start the exercise as well. Um, moving on from there, to actually press the weight above the head, we need good thoracic mobility, and particularly thoracic extension. So without that, what it will look like from the side is if we go to press overhead and we can't and we don't have enough thoracic extension, thoracic mobility, then we'll compromise with our lower back. Okay, so if we can't get the bar above the head, then we'll start to lean and our back moves, our core's no longer keeping our spine um, stable and still, and it's gonna lead to breakdown and injury. So Thoracic extension is probably the key point, if I'm honest, when it comes to overhead movements, if you're lacking thoracic extension, you're not going to get into that end range of motion where the bar is actually above the head as opposed to in front. That's where your stability is in that position there. Talking about stability, we need to make sure we have stable shoulders. So we need to have the strength for that end range. Where we're above the head there, obviously the mobility in the thoracic spine, but we need stability for the shoulders when we're in this position, okay? Otherwise, there's nothing keeping that bar or dumbbell, whatever it is, in that position, okay? So we need strong shoulders, good stability at the end range, um, and throughout if we're doing um, like a shoulder press movement. Also, in that position above the head, we're gonna need good range of motion in the shoulders, in the shoulder girdle, we're also going to need good mobility of the pectoral muscles and as previously mentioned, the lats as well, okay? Because we need to come right through that range of motion. The lat is going to be completely lengthened there, okay? So that is pretty much our checklist for the overhead press um, or anything overhead, okay? Obviously, it's an upper body exercise. Um, if it's becoming a push press, you're going to take a bit of the... Um, upper pectoral, shoulder and tricep um, muscles out of the equation, but you're still gonna require the stability when you catch above the head. Okay, so maybe we'll get on to a video where we break down you know, a shoulder press to a push press um, and the differences between the two. But for the purpose of this video, what we need to know is a stable base, feet about hip width apart, neutral pelvic position, a strong stable core, thoracic extension, okay, so that we can get into that overhead um, position, the mobility of the pecs and the lats, and also your serratus anterior to get into the initial position, um, and stability in the shoulders when you're above the head. Okay, I think that is pretty much everything that 
I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I hope you liked this video. Try to keep it as short as possible. If there's anything more you'd like to know um, regarding this or anything else, give me a message and I will try to get some more videos out. All right, give me a like and a share if you can as well. Cheers.